Here we are, uh, the final day of the Grand Prix in Kulungsborn, Germany, and uh, I'm, we've, we've had a fantastic day today. I'm going to ask the uh, sailors as well if they agree with me, but we got two races in. Uh, we weren't sh even sure we were going to be racing today because the forecast was for lots of wind, but we moved the start time forward and we started at 10 o'clock right on time and we got two races in. We, we finished the first race uh, at the bottom end of the gate so that we could keep the fleet down to leeward and then restart the second race as soon as possible, which is what we did. I have Lars Hendrickson, Peter Hirama and Philip Doze. Philip won the Corinthians overall. Congratulations, Philip. Thank you. And uh, tell me about your crew again, because you sail with your wife, don't you? You have to yeah. come in a bit. Yeah, I sail with my wife and with uh, Christian Miller and Volker Kama and with four people. That is very good. Then you can have also a woman on board. Then it works with uh, only three persons. We would have two less weight, but with four persons, everything uh, went very well. And I guess when you sail with your wife, you don't get nagged uh, for go always going sailing because you're taking her with you. <laughs> yeah, that is usually uh, the, the case. Yeah. <laughs> But you've sailed together for a long time now, and you've been yeah. very successful. Yeah, we are a little bit successful. In particular, in former times, we only sailed on, on lakes together with my wife and with uh, two guys. Uh, or if you sailed uh, on uh, offshore uh, regattas. But uh, nowadays, with four people, she can also take part uh, in big regattas like here, for example. Perfect. And are you looking forward to coming to the final event in November and trying to get into the top 20 overall? I think we do so, and uh, uh, before that we have to sail one time uh, on Lake Alster. That's the first regatta and the last regatta this year on Lake Alster, my home place. Okay. But then we will move to uh, to Palma. Okay, super, super. And uh, on my right now, Peter and Lars. Uh, we spoke to Peter yesterday, and uh, he'd won the uh, second race of the day yesterday. Then he went out and won both races today. Not bad. No. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll speak to your tactician first. Um, Lars, how did you manage to win both races? I mean, um, uh, you started down the line a little bit uh, on the first start, I believe. Yeah, we had a, we had a, we had an idea that the current was pretty strong out there, so um, we on purpose we started a little bit down the line, which was not, you know, the, it was very biased to the committee boat. Yes. But 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 we we traded that for for going left, and then we. We basically kept going left, and at the end we were just five boats going left, and uh, well, we, we we stuck to our plan, and it worked out because then when we came closer to land, we also got a header, which is convenient, and then we had a so we, and we went on a pretty high course all the way to land. Okay. So it was, yeah, it worked out, you know. Yeah, we actually did set a little bit of a bias at the boat yes. for the current reason. Yes. So um, did, did we get it right today, Pete? Yeah, it was uh, was pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, wow, <laughs> a, pr a pretty good, a pretty good for Mr. Hirama is an excellent for anybody else. Ah, yeah, 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 no, we we no, admitted we admitted no, no, we no, made the, some mistakes on the, the first the, day. The, the line was okay today, but um, yeah, the, the difficulty for you guys is that you're stationary, and uh, the current uh, uh, so fast that it influences the wind that we sail with. Yes. And, um, um, well, we'll talk about how you can uh, correct for that. Okay, well, we yeah, can improve. There's a little far. And, uh, like okay, so, um, <laughs> but uh, to win uh, both races, I mean, it, some great opposition here, and uh, Dimitri Samakin, who's a one overall, um, he took some catching, but you, obviously, you nailed him twice today, but he had too much in the bag already, didn't he? Yeah, we, um, it's, it's becoming a bit of a tradition that we, uh, or probably it's me, it's a bit of a slow slow starter every uh, every regatta. Okay. There's a bit too much time between the regattas for me. I need to sail a bit more, but uh, I don't have the time for that. So no. It takes it takes a few races to uh, to get hot heated up and uh, and then it goes. Yeah. Yeah. A bit like the race team as well. Now, Lars, what do you think about this Grade One system? And uh, are you looking forward to the finals in Palma? Yeah, I'm looking a lot forward to the to the finals in Palma. By that time, we'll have some experience, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and and you uh, you hear the format we're going to do? We're going to copy the the Star uh, League system uh, of 20 boats in the final, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're going to have three or four races on the first day yeah. in the finals, and then eliminate 10, and then the uh, top one goes through to the final, the second one goes to the semi-final, and then the eight fight it off in the first race and then we eliminate three and then the yeah and then the uh, the semi-finalist joins them 
Yeah. And then you eliminate another three, so there's just four left in the final. Yeah, yeah. And this is all going to be televised, on the water commentary, and uh, we're hoping to make a real statement. And you're keeping that all in control. It's quite complicated. Yeah, it's complicated, but I was a mathematician. <laughs> I, I, I'm terrible at uh, uh, English and speaking names, but I can do the sums. <laughs> so uh, we're looking forward to uh, the next event, which is in Porto Patales in Palma in November. But before that, we've got this 90th anniversary. And I assume you'll be there, Peter? Absolutely, yeah, in party mode. Yeah. And uh, Philip, you'll also be there? Yeah, of course. Perhaps I can sail with my daughter and my wife and perhaps my youngest son. Okay, so a real yeah, family uh, affair. Uh, that would be a totally family affair, but we will see if they have time. It's and Lars, I, I think we've got about 160 boats, that's, that's the plan, yeah. in, uh, in San Remo. And you, you've been very successful in San Remo in the past. Well, I had a... Little luck here, a few times. You mean <laughs> you've won the Europeans, for goodness sake. <laughs> and, and Italian nationals, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes. no, it's a good venue for it. It's a good venue and uh, San Remo is just perfect for that, for, for, for an event like that. You know, great sailing and a great city, a nice harbour. Yeah. It's, well, it can only be perfect. Yeah. yeah. We've, we've got, uh, I think we've got about 145 on the list already. And uh, the organisers in San Remo have said they would like 160 because that's a, a number that they can manage comfortably. So um, uh, we look forward to that. So good luck uh, again in um, November. I should be on the committee boat and uh, trying to organise and mathematically work everything out. Yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing you with your family in San Remo. Yeah, very good. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Great. Thank you. you.